the next section that I want us to dive into to wrap things up for the day is apps and partners. So let's go ahead and jump into all of the releases for our apps marketplace. Joining us to take us through all of the releases that relate to apps and partners is Jess Mills from our platform product marketing team. Jess, how are you? Doing well, Andrew. Glad to be back. So Jess, I think platforms and a business that uses and leverages a support platform are doing amazing things and they can really help a business remain agile and move quickly to adjust to customer needs. And I think we saw that come through recently in our Zendesk benchmark study where 70% of CX leaders say that it's more important now to be able to make changes quickly than it was a year ago. I think a lot of this was driven by the pandemic and a business is changing needs and capabilities like our platform can make it easy for businesses to adjust. So I'm really excited to have you on today to talk about all of the things that are new in the platform world. Why don't we start with some of the new applications that we have? Absolutely, and I completely agree, Andrew. I think the ability to integrate the tools and the data that your business relies on that your teams need access to, this is so crucial to keeping your business in sync. And so that's why we invest so heavily in our partner ecosystem here, making sure we have a breadth of out of the box solutions that just work. They're really easy to get up and running with. And so there's 1200 apps and integrations in our marketplace. There's a lot to choose from. So it was, it was hard. It's hard to just highlight a few, but let's start with our uh, new Zendesk bot for Discord. Um, this aligns really well with what Paul was talking about in making sure that you meet your customers wherever they are. And with Discord, Discord is a communication hub with over 140 million monthly active users. Um, are you familiar with Discord, Andrew? Are you one of the 140 million? I am, Jess. I, I use Discord frequently. I just checked it you know, this morning. Um, it's something that I look at frequently uh, to keep up with all the games that I play. You know, for some of us, we we stop playing games like RuneScape, and you know, early on in our childhood, some of us have kept playing, and you know, we have to keep up with all of our clan mates and everybody there. So, yes, very familiar with Discord. Probably a little bit of too much information there, uh, but yes, I love it. <laughs> well, great, and yeah, the gamer base is is really a huge part of the Discord community, but. Over this last year, as you can imagine, people are just flocking to platforms like Discord to connect with other people virtually. And so you've got communities coming to, to create forums around college classes, study groups, book clubs. And giving these online communities support is, is so important. And so that's why we built this bot for Discord. What this bot does is when it when a user in Discord has a question, you know, the bot will automatically re recommend relevant topics um, that will help troubleshoot what that what that user might need. But if someone in Discord needs to get in touch with a live agent, they can easily create uh, a private conversation with an agent, and then that conversation flows seamlessly between Zendesk and Discord, and you're never losing losing track of that conversation. So uh, you can get right back to your to your gaming. Uh, that I'm, I'm sure you're antsy to get back to, Andrew. Well, Jess, I was going to say, I mean, I think it's really great for indie gamers you know, or indie game developers you know, who are, who are a small shop, who have put out a game, who want to collect user feedback and who are you know, building a community around Discord with their small player base. This is a great way for players to surface up bugs, you know, report issues, that type of thing, right where they are. Uh, chatting with the game developers and the rest of the game community. I, I think this Discord release is awesome. I, I couldn't agree more. We're excited. It's generally available today, so go check it out. And then the second integration, partner integration, that, that I'd like to talk about aligns with what Jeremy was talking about earlier in terms of making sure it's easy for your customers to self-serve, to, to find the information they're looking for. And a big part of that is making sure that your help center is consistent with your brand, that it's really easy to navigate. And that's where partners like Lotus Themes come into play. With Lotus Themes, you have thousands of pre-built and customizable templates and, and themes that you can implement in your, in your help center so that you can ensure that you know, consistent, seamless experience across your brand. And you don't need to invest in heavy developer or design resources. Just head to the marketplace, check out Lotus Themes, and get started today. Nice. And it looks like we have an update with Asana as well. Yeah. So Asana is, is an integration that we just launched. And when we talk about keeping your business in sync, 
A crucial piece of that is making sure that your teams are on the same page, that they're able to collaborate and knowledge share. And one way to do that is to connect the tools you use, like Asana's project management software. So with this new integration, you can take an inc a, 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 a incident in Zendesk and you can turn that into a task in Asana so that you're connecting those teams together. You can resolve questions faster, more accurately, and we're reducing a lot of that potential data and duplication of work. So, you know, if an incident is happening in Zendesk and it's related to something being worked on in Asana, we don't want those teams working in a silo. We want to bring everyone together so that they're, you know, on the same page. Yeah, I, I think it's a great way of, as you said, bringing together the engineering and the support team so that they can resolve customer issues issues quickly. Jess, there's one last partner update here that I'm really excited to dive into. And I would actually love for us to, to dive into the product after we talk about it so we can check it out in a little bit more detail. But I know that we've also released some updates to our Shopify app that have been highly anticipated and asked for uh, amongst our customers. Do you just want to talk about some of the uh, some of the updates to that that application? Yeah, absolutely. The, the Shopify integration is so important. There's a lot of businesses that almost can't function without it. You know, when it comes to e-commerce, questions about your orders, your shipping, refunds, these are so common. And you just can't afford to have your agents jumping back and forth between your support and your e-commerce platform. So with our Shopify integration, we're bringing all of that information right into the agent workspace, right within a sidebar app. And what we released at the beginning of this year was a refreshed user interface, but also the ability to process refunds and cancellations directly from the app, which is a huge win for our customers. And we just released a couple new features. One of them enables, um, when, when a refund and, or cancellation is applied, a, a flag, a tag is attached to that ticket so that you can jump into Zendesk Analytics, run a report, do things like look at trends and, and where there might be a region that has a large number of refund requests. So maybe there's a problem you want to solve. The second thing that we just uh, released is the ability to surface that sidebar app when a customer calls in and that's the only information you have about them. So that phone number is now one of those identifiers to, to surface that information for your agent. Um, and as you said, that's a lot of talk. Let, let's actually take a look at what this integration looks like. With the Zendesk for Shopify integration, agents can access customer order information without having to leave the agent workspace. Here, we're looking at a ticket that home by customer Amy has recently created. She purchased an order that is now on sale for $10 less than her initial order. So as an agent, I can see a timeline of recent activity within the interaction history, where we have access to events like order was placed with Shopify and shipped via FedEx alongside Zendesk events like the start of this conversation. If I head over to the sidebar app, I can see all of Amy's orders, details about those orders as well as her total spend. She spent quite a bit recently, so let's treat this with a little extra care. Amy's recent order does have a refund available, so let's click in for more details where I can see things like her address, tracking numbers, and a button to initiate a refund. If I select the refund button, we're taking to a page to begin processing this. So this applies to a single chair. Let's select one. And this isn't a full refund, just a partial $10 refund. So that we can make sure the context of this refund is always tracked in both Zendesk and Shopify, let's make sure we add those details into the notes. Now we can review the refund, make sure Amy will get that email confirmation and process it. And just like that, a refund is instantly applied, which will be visible in both Zendesk and Shopify. Now let's let Amy know that this is in process and she's good to go, hopefully onto her next furnishing purchase. Now, one thing that you may have noticed is that a tag was added within our custom tags here on the, on the left-hand side to indicate that a refund was processed. So anytime a refund or cancellation is initiated in the sidebar app, you'll see this tag. And I can use this information in Zendesk reporting to detect trends on perhaps regions in which we're seeing a heavy volume of refund requests. Maybe there's a promotion we should run in that area or a problem we might, might need to resolve. Just like that, we were able to access all of Amy's order information, 
process a refund, and even integrate this data into our analytics, all without leaving Zendesk, utilizing our pre-built integration with Shopify. All right, Jess, I, I think the this Shopify integration looks incredibly powerful, uh, especially for businesses in the retail e-commerce space who have a lot of customers chatting in about returns or asking about different items or asking about just general things related to their order. This is going to help businesses that you jointly use Zendesk and Shopify help serve their customers faster and ultimately create create better customer experiences. Just the last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up today is integrations. I know that we are a large AWS partner uh, and are doing a lot of great work with Amazon. I would love to hear about some of our new integrations. Yep, absolutely. And we, as you mentioned, like we partner really closely with AWS and we've built several native integrations, um, like the two that you see here, Events Connector and AppFlow. And we've just released a new capability so that these native integrations are now bi-directional, allowing you to more easily send data from AWS, from your SaaS applications to Zendesk. Um, the first one with our Events Connector, it lets you now um, use events from EventBridge to call back to Zendesk. So this unlocks things like being able to streamline your operations and manage your infrastructure a bit more efficiently by automatically creating a new ticket in Zendesk in response to AWS CloudWatch um, alerts, for example. And with AppFlow, you can now build integrations inbound to Zendesk without requiring any coding at all. Um, this unlocks uh, things like being able to you know, automatically create new users in Zendesk from a repository in you know, S3 as you onboard new customers. And these are just a couple improvements that we have with these, these native integrations, but we're going to really be investing this year in, in things that make it easier to get data in and out of Zendesk. So we'll have a lot more to come. These, these integration tools seem incredibly powerful for everybody who's you know, an analyst, uh, a little bit more of a technical admin or developer who's, who's watching what's new today. Check out the sidebar. It's, the running joke is that I never remember where the sidebar is. It's either on the right or the left of me. Um, we'll have some more, some more information about all these releases and all the other platform releases that Jess talked about there. So you can read those uh, pieces of documentation, learn more about how you can actually put all of these capabilities to use. With that, Jess, thank you so much for taking us through everything that's new in the apps and partner uh, and platform world. Absolutely. Thanks, Andrew. Get back to Discord.